So you want to learn the handstand, but you can't seem to get the kickoff right. Plus, whenever you do get it right, it's far too hard to balance for long. You get a few seconds at best. I was in the same place as you. I too could never get the handstand down. So I kept giving it a go, followed by giving up. This happened all from the age of 15 till I was 19. I just couldn't grasp it. I'd have a few good kickups and a few bad kickups, but I still hadn't learned the fundamentals of balancing. Now this wasn't ongoing training for like four years or three to four years. That wasn't what it was. It was literally I'd train it for like two, three weeks and I'd get no progress and then I'd just quit. Then I'd start again, get no progress and I'd quit. Then at one point I decided to learn how to press from the ground up. I hadn't seen many good tutorials on it, just a few with poor explanations. I wasn't sure if it would really help me as I considered myself challenged in in the balance department but lo and behold it worked for me in fact it only took me four weeks to get there hence why it's foolproof because in respect to balancing on your hands i was a fool back then and even i managed to learn it so why is this the most effective way of learning it there are two main reasons number one you can learn it from the ground up you see doing a handstand requires you to be capable of balancing using just your fingertips and palms that's a pretty difficult thing to master and doing that from scratch with your full body's length can be tough as your lever is too long whereas when you do it from a crouched position you learn to do these small micro adjustments that you need to do with a smaller lever therefore making it easier to become accustomed to so starting from that smaller lever and center of gravity you can become more familiar with balancing on your hands this way as you extend your lever you will be more comfortable the second reason it is superior is because it speeds up the process between learning the handstand and learning the handstand push-ups the only process that you need to learn once you get the handstand press in order to get the handstand push-up is controlling the negative besides that you've pretty much got it why? Because learning the handstand press teaches you the pushing part of the handstand push-ups. So you're already like 70, 80% there. Along with that, because there already is a strength requirement in order to learn the handstand press, you prioritize getting the strength before even getting the skill. That way you already have enough strength to start training the push-up. Whereas when you learn through kicking up, you might not necessarily meet the strength requirements needed for the push-up. These are my reasons. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to learn the handstand press, watch this video.